is it that Britain only would like to have the wealthier? Uh, no, I don't think that's true either. And I think, don't forget, you've got a Prime Minister now who is successfully Mayor of London twice, who's always been very liberal, if you like, on these matters, because he recognises that London, which is a metropolitan city, um, and he recognises that the people making the engine of London turn 24 hours a day are people from all over the world. And that's just not the you know, high-powered merchant bankers and doctors and nurses. That's people prepared to work in the, in the kitchens and so forth of our many restaurants and cafes in the hospitality industry. So you've got somebody who inherently is not xenophobic. I mean, Boris's own ancestry is an exotic mix, which is reflected in many contemporary Britons today. And, and what will happen to this immigration policy when you find yourselves um, uh, being uh, invested in by companies from um, India, China, and the United States? Too. Well, I think any conversation, and I was the minister with responsibility for India uh, in the Foreign Office, and of course, you know, Indians are very keen. Every conversation starts with a question about visas and access and so forth, and, uh, and that's what they want. And uh, it, it, it cuts both ways, this. Um, look, the UK is an open economy. It's a pluralistic, open economy, well-regulated, transparent, and uh, we need people from all over the world to be here. And if, if we were to become either xenophobic or to become insular, that would be suicidal in terms of the economic success of this country. So that, that's what I'm trying to say to you. 